Today we're going to be reviewing the EC400 from Haas, um, a six pallet horizontal machine and the first in Europe. Now, Will, the WAF Group has just invested in this machine tool, why? Okay, so we purchased this tool because we needed to increase our machining capability. Um, roughly two years ago, when we started our own CNC machining in-house, uh, we started off with the a UMC 500, but as we've grown very quickly, we needed to increase that production, that sheer throughput, whilst also maintaining the same accuracy and being able to just get the job done. And, and what do you think of this machine? Let's, let's start inside the machine tool. What, what, how, how is it performing? Okay, so performing, it's incredibly stable. So we actually did some work with uh, Microlock, uh, which is what helped us get the tombstones correct for this, for this particular machine. Um, it allows us to set up our jobs really, really fast and really quickly, but that ties in with how rigid this machine is. Uh, we can take big depths of cut, um, literally just fast removal rates. As you can see, it's stainless steel. All our work is 316 stainless steel. We can take big cuts, but it's getting that swarf out there as well. Now, there's a massive conveyor on this, so we can drag this swarf out as quick as we can cut it. So when you say big cuts, what are we talking? So we work a lot of trochoidal paths, so we're not slotting. Um, but what we do is we'll plunge into the job with like a U-drill uh, and then we'll drop down to depth and just wrap it out all the stainless. So we're talking on this particular part, we're probably taking about a 40 mil depth of cut, 20% engagement on a 12 mil end mil. And we're running around about three meters feed. But what it allows us to do, it's that stability. So if on a horizontal, if we're cutting up here, we're cutting down here, sometimes you might not get the same results, but with this system, we're getting the same. It's as stable at the top of the tombstone as it is at the bottom. So stability is key. So the work holding was paramount. Yep. You've got a stable spindle, a solid, rigid spindle. Yep. And the rigidity of the machine tool um, is, is, is exactly what you would expect to, to achieve then deep depths of cut and the metal removal rates that you're yep. achieving. Yeah, and from the result of it being so stable, we're actually getting extremely larger tool lives. Um, so one of um, my like key workhorses, I do a lot with MA Ford. So one of the tools which we take the pocket out, moving from the UMC 500, that tool was lasting roughly about three hours. On this machine, I'm getting over nine and a half wow. hours of cutting time. Wow. And that's showing like no flank wear. There's no chipping or edging. It's just cuts. The only reason why I stop it is because I don't want it blowing out in the machine. So you're adding safety factors into your tooling, but, but you know, with these depths of cut, you know, and how hard you're pushing it, you know, what accuracy are you still achieving? And repeatability. Okay, so repeatability. So this particular job that's on there, we, we probably work to 0.1 plus or minus in most tolerances. We have probably 50 microns plus or minus in some of the tighter tolerances. But when we actually inspect our work, we're actually seeing a deviation of probably 10 microns and that's over from the start of the tool to the end of the tool. Um, one of the best things with this machine is we do a lot of in-cycle probing. So we'll cut, we'll measure, we'll cut, we'll measure. Even though it might add to the cycle time, that cycle time doesn't really matter because of this machine. Because of the pallets, I can load this up five o'clock, go home, come back and I've got three, four more pallets done. Well, yeah, we're going to go over and look at the pallets shortly, but before we do so, Will, I just want to touch on the control. The, 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 the pallet side of this machine is all integrated into the Haas control. How have you found the programming? It's very simple. It's intuitive, it's easy. Um, you just change a few of the M codes at the end of it and you can queue up the pallets. And what it does is once the actual program is finished, it'll quite simply load the next pallet. If, if it's already got one in the station, it'll put it away in an empty station, or it'll just bring it to this door, it's quite nice and easy. Uh, we'll load it up, set it for the next time, hit the button on the side, and off it goes again. But what it allows us to do is we can have different jobs set up with different programs, and it's got quite a large amount of work offsets, and we use dynamic work offsets with our machining as well. So it allows us to basically pick up multiple different jobs really easy and quite fast. Programming for the machine takes no time at all. It's so the programming, it, it, you've really got to grips with that quite quickly. Uh, now the, the pallets and the pallet stations, you know, what, what elements of productivity and efficiency is 
having six pallets done for your business, you know, in, in regards to automation, but also capacity. Okay, so we don't have to worry about losing setup time. Obviously, one of the best things about any palletized or automated machine is making sure that spindle keeps turning. You're not cutting, you're not making money. Um, so it's kind of, I can't live without it. It's, I'll set up this job or let's say a client might ring us up and say, oh, I need something quick or we might try and pull a schedule forward. We have the ability to do that because I can set up offline. I can simulate offline. I can have it ready to go, cue the pallet, quite simply in the controller, change the schedule of the pallet, come in, probe, set off, off the job goes. And it allows that flexibility and that ability to be dynamic is what allowed us to do what we can do now. It's, but it's going from that simple first three-axis machine two years ago to what we have now is pretty unbelievable. I mean, you've evolved, evolved significantly. You know, without this machine tool, um, would you be able to evolve or reach, or, or, or reach the aspirations that you've got um, currently? Without this machine tool, I would not be able to beat the demand I have right now. Um, we'd have to look at multiple verticals, which obviously requires more staff, uh, more chance of tools. It, 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 it gives that sense of security that I know, especially with this machine, now it's dialed in, that I can press that, go home, and get basically a full shift work done without any effort. So you would strongly recommend the EC400 from I Haas? I would happily recommend this machine. It's by far one of the simplest machine tools, which great, the capability adds to a shop. You can't live without it.